before that? Well, I guess last fall, Kevin and April had invited Tannis and I to uh, come to the throne speech here with them. And at that time, I remember Kevin telling me that he was thinking about uh, resigning after his next term. So I, I had told him the best thing for our constituency would be that he stays in as long as he can. And uh, though I at that time knew I was going to run when he was uh, going to resign. And uh, it would have been just a few weeks later I got a phone call uh, on the Tuesday morning and found out that you know Kevin had passed away the night before. And, and uh, so you know a lot of things went through my mind at that point and uh, I guess uh, it was a very difficult thing to run uh, in many ways because Kevin was a good friend and uh, it, just, it uh, just certainly wasn't the way that I had planned on things going. And so even up to the day of the, uh, till the, day of the uh, election there, the by-election, uh, I, I still felt awkward. And uh, the night of April Phillips came to the meeting and uh, she brought a, a gift for me and you know everyone else was celebrating and, and in my mind I did have a bit of a, a struggle. And April gave me Kevin's tie that, that night and that was, uh, that was a big deal for me. And uh, it's, it's one thing to, to wear a guy's tie, wear a friend's tie, but it's another thing to try and fill his shoes. And uh, as I've gone around to all the constituencies, or the other towns in the constituency, I've realized, uh, you know, he's a great man. And now that I've come to Regina and I see him here uh, in all the things around me and uh, hear the stories about him from the people and the respect that he had here, I, I'm going to have a big job, you know, filling Kevin's shoes. So I wear his tie with pride, but uh, look forward to doing my best to honor our constituents as he'd want me to.